what did you all think about the recent Adidas video, This Is Home? Come on in and we'll discuss it. Hi everybody, thanks for coming in and watching another episode of Arsenal Fan Circle. So, with the recent kit launch on July 1st, not gonna lie, the kit looks really, really nice. Nice. Uh, the kind of thing that worried me or kind of got my goat a little bit was uh, this latest video. Um, this is home. The Adidas 10 minute video that's been on YouTube. Yeah, it kind of like tugs at your heartstrings. So, it invokes nostalgia and the history of the club and we have really really uh, big stars from the past and the present uh, we have Ian Wright who is a legend of the club and then we have the ladies players um, with the ladies World Cup being in the forefront right now and being in the headlines so we have Leah Williamson and Jordan Hobbs and then finally you have um, present players Gwendozi and Iwobi and all of these things are tugging at our heartstrings making us think about what is all good about the Arsenal and there's nothing wrong with that at all it all echoes things that Raul uh, Sanye will be using to get players in this summer but let's not lose sight of the fact that we need to get players in this summer and all of the things like the tradition of the club, how classy the club is and our history are really, really important to us. Um, per Mertesacker, he, he invokes um, visions of our academy players talking about uh, the three things that are really, really important to him. Respect, discipline and humility. And these are all really, really good words uh, to use when talking about Arsenal and us fans we really do love the club uh, a lot of the fans have dug into their pockets in the last month or so and renewed their season tickets um 1100 to 1400 pounds which is really really a big outlay for a person to do for a per season we just wish that the club would match the richness of the season tickets uh, the wish that the ambition would be matched and we would spend money on players now not going to rush to any quick judgments until the end of the transfer window and then i will um, evaluate who we have in who we have brought in the players that have come in and the players who have left the club if any um, there is still a long way to go. There's another month to go before we can evaluate that. But this is home video really, really does invoke and tug on our heartstrings, brings a tear to our eye because we all love this club. And you know, as fans, we have picked this club to be our lifelong um, love, if as it were. We're not gonna switch clubs. We can't, we don't, and we won't. Uh, but the footballers, they move on. Um, so the, loyal, the loyalty is really what the fans have. And one word that really, really, one sentence that really, really got to me was Ian Wright saying, you know, the fans are the only thing that's pure left in the game, in that video. Ian Wright said, the fans are the only thing that's pure left in the game. That's true, and that will be the one constant for years and years to come, the fans, because they love the club. We've all uh, lived our life with the club. We've gone through ups and downs with the club. We understand what it's like to hurt when we've lost uh, games. We understand what it's like to have that amazing, amazing high when we score a goal in the final minutes of a game or win a game against all odds, hold out for a victory, all of these things. So we as fans understand 
all of that and we are the only thing that's left pure in the game as the race for clubs to acquit themselves to join a super league a super European league gathers pace uh, we're now seeing international uh, friendlies friendlies now on the international stage that are becoming tournaments there's no more friendlies the same thing applies for preseason. We're involved in the in a certain cup competition, which will be friendlies, uh, part of our uh, U.S. tour this summer. So all of these things are marketing, and from my point of view, this video um, it it has Ian Wright in there, it has Guendouzi in there, it has Iwobi in there, it has Permert Sacker. These are all personalities that we love in the club it has the ladies players who have been very very good for Arsenal uh, Leah Williamson Jordan Hobbs and all of these things tug at the heartstrings and then there's a segment in there which shows the uh, journey of a trainee player and his parents and all of this points to how we're possibly going to be uh, promoting academy players next season so undoubtedly adidas have gotten with the club and fashioned a video uh, that will promote shirt sales it tugs at our heartstrings as i said uh, it evokes nostalgia from the past the kit um, points to the past in a way as well and uh it's you know these play these play these um, this video is bringing us fans back to good times. Now, here's the cynical take on things. I don't see any Mustafi anywhere in this ad. I don't see any Mkhitaryan in this ad. I don't see players that are patently not good enough for Arsenal, a Xhaka in this ad. And, but what we do see is Ian Wright correctly saying we must um, understand the pressure on the young players and we must um, ask the fans to support the young players. I completely, completely agree with that, Ian. Uh, we must support the young players when they come into the team because surely that is going to happen next season. Um, the other thing we see as well is Laka and Aubameyang. Uh, the bromance continues. So that's a segment in the video as well. And all of these things are plugging into our wants and our desires as Arsenal fans, our loyalty as Arsenal fans. Uh, something which is unquestionable for every Arsenal fan is the loyalty to the club, to the badge. And all of these things are very, very important. And then finally, and these marketing people are good. They've done all of this stuff. Put together this video to sell shirts. Uh, Ian Wright is in there. Gwenduzi's in there. All of the players, like I said. They highlight a trainee story. And then the final part of it is a really, really lovely lady who has been supporting Arsenal since 1950. So that taps into... The older generation uh, people who have supported arsenal uh, for the last 50 60 70 years so maria petri supporter really really lovely lady and that's the part who really who really gets you she's she's one of nothing against the lady it's, i think it's just really really good marketing on bar on behalf of adidas and and then finally we have Ozil who's rolled out and he's speaking about the Ozil song and the supporters um, about how they support him going to the stadium he gets goosebumps and all of that uh, all of that is great great stuff it gives us great feeling about the club and that lady who's been supporting the Arsenal since 1950 she's been through some great times and some bad times but her story is to support them no matter what um, and then finally she says I know it's not home but when I get to the Emirates it feels like home and all of the sacrifices she makes she tells a story about not 
uh, being able to go places with her friends because she has this love affair with the Arsenal. And we all identify with that. But for me, I just see a kind of a cynical marketing tool in order to tell, sell shirts. And ultimately, while it tugs in my heartstrings because I'm a supporter of Arsenal since 1986, I do see the business end of it, the marketing end of it. The marketing have told a story that touches each and every supporter in some way because we are that elderly person who's supporting the Arsenal since 1950, 1960. We are that young uh, person who aspires to be a trainee and ultimately play for the Arsenal uh, through the academy. Uh, we have lived with Ian Wright through his exploits with the Arsenal. We love Per Mertesacker, per Mertesacker the BFG. We love Guendouzi, and a lot of us like Iwobi for what he's doing. And obviously, the ladies, the Arsenal ladies team, who have been so, so successful, and with the World Cup right on our doorstep here. Um, all of those things tug at our heartstrings. All of those things invoke great, great memories. We see Bern Leno, we see the bromance, uh, we, we see the tradition and the class of the club. All of the tools that Raul Sanye needs to use uh, when persuading players to come and join us. But let's not forget, we need to take care of our business uh, this summer. The signs are good. I'm not going to talk about all of the signings until the end of the transfer window. We have to wait, wait and see. We're still a week or two away from some signings coming in. The Tierney signing, I believe, is done. And if we would take Saliba, but loan him back out, I would like to um, get an established center back in. And who knows what's going to happen with Zaha. I don't believe we're going to spend 70 or 80 million on Zaha, but I believe if we do get him, it will be for a fee of around 55 million, which is a lot. But he could open up things in combining with Aubameyang and Lacazette. But I just wanted to drop a video about the Adidas um, ad that's been out. This is home really, really tugs on the loyalties of all Arsenal fans. Let me know what you think about this video. I really, really would like your feedback. Um, I would like to possibly generate a question and answer uh, video and get that moving. So let me know if you guys are interested in um, supplying questions that Mayer uh, and I could possibly answer. And one other thing, one other final, final thing I would like for all of you to do is take this video or take another video that I've done that you like in particular and share that on your feed, uh, on your platforms just one time. Uh, would allow the channel to get a little bit more exposure um, also if you're new to the channel and you like the video hit the thumbs up hit the like button hit the bell notification and join the first team by subscribing um, once again thank you all and I will be talking to you soon